Hello, it's Pam Brosman. Are you using a Canva website yet? If not, you're going to fall in love with them. And in today's training, I'm going to share with you just how easy it is to create a navigation bar using two different strategies. Let's get straight into today's training. And if you want to grab these gorgeous templates, I will have a link in the description below. Okay, so the first way and the easiest way that a lot of people do is they will create a new bar or a new slide at the top and make it whatever height you want. Just be mindful of that you should have some sort of image at the top because that becomes your thumbnail. Otherwise, Canva will go and grab an image on your page if you do not have one. So if you want to have a banner at the top, that is what Canva is going to grab when you go and publish your website. So here, to have the first way that you can create a navigation bar is to just go and write the words that you want to have. So I'm just going to go to the text tool, I'm just going to get my subheading and I'm just going to go home. Okay, to save time, I just created a few of them so that you can see. Now, to link within the template, you would click on this and you double click on it and then you will see the link at the top. So you click on the link at the top and this is where you can either put an external link if I was to send them to my WordPress website or if I was to send them to my books on Amazon, this is where I could choose to do an external link, which I will show you in the next one. However, this one I want to link to the top of the page. So obviously here, I would have this, that's not my home. Home is this one here. So you can choose whether you want it to be the picture or you want home to be the navigation bar at the top. So I've chosen home to be the picture here. It's slide number four. So that's first slide is this one here. Second slide is this one here. Third slide is the one that I'm demonstrating, so that would normally not be here. And this one is slide number four. So you'll be able to tell just by the picture. So I want it to link to that. So I double click on it, I click on the link, and then I come down and choose slide number four, and then I go done, and you'll know that it's linked because before it didn't have an underline, and now it has an underline, and we'll be able to preview it in a second. So that is the simple way to do it within the length of the page. So if you really need to go and have a look, you can just click and see, okay, that one is where I want to link to. That's number 11, or I want to link it to that one. Now, you usually don't have one to every slide. So just choose the ones that are the most important about you, success tools, or um, your products, okay? So usually, maximum, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So I've got six here, but most of those are external. So just choose the ones that are the most important and then link to those. And then if I was linking this one, Templates, which is another Canva website, and I want it to be external, then I will put the actual URL. So that is another Canva website. So that's going to take them away from here to another website. All right, so just be mindful of where you want to send them. If you do not want to distract them, for example, this is a sales page and you want them to stay on the page, then don't have any links that take them away from this page. However, if it's not a sales page, this is my digital business card and I don't care where they go and check me out, I've done it on purpose, then you can send them away. All right, so that's a strategy number one. If you're going to do navigation strategy number two, then all you need to do is click on here. Or you can do it slide by slide this way, but I find it easier if you do it in this grid view. Then you will see, see how I've got home, templates, bestseller, Pam Brosman. The slides that you want to be on the top of the navigation bar, you do not have to link to them. You just have to give them a name. So if you do not want them to be linked, then you leave them as the number of the slide. You only put a name and you just click on it there or you can do it via notes. If you're in this view and you want to do it this way, then you click on notes 
and then you would type in home. Okay, you can do it that way, either way doesn't matter, or the faster way to do it is just pick the slides, click on here and write what it is. This is home, this is about my journals, this is about my templates, this is about my bestseller. Now once you've chosen the ones you do not have, don't have both, you do not want to have two navigation bars, you can but it's very distracting. Because what's going to happen is when you go and publish the website, you're going to see a button that says with navigation or without navigation. If you go with navigation, it will put it at the top. So I will go and show you an example of one with navigation uh, so that you can see you don't have control of where it puts it. This one, where you've done it manually, you can put this anywhere on the page that you like because you have created these links. But if you use the notes version, like this, then it will always be at the top of the website when you go and publish it. So I'm going to give you an example. Okay, so here is an example. This is a live Canva website. This is my speaker bio. You will see at the top, see it says home, about Pam, Pam's tools, speaker topics, let's connect. These are all going down the page, all right? So I had no control when I published this, I chose show navigation bar and it puts it at the top. So when I click about Pam, it comes down the page. When I go to Pam's tools, it comes down to Pam's tools. Speaker topics, yada, yada, yada. So you get the idea and then when I go home, it takes me back to the top. So you get to choose which one. Okay, so now I want to give you an example of a live Canva website. This is for my templates that I sell, Canva templates that I sell online. Now, this one didn't have a navigation bar, so I've just gone, just for this demonstration, so I chose not to have one on this one, but I've just added them. So I went through and chose which ones of these slides that I wanted people to be able to link to with the navigation bar at the top. So I've got home, free training, my success Canva templates, another template bundle, my journals, my success tools, and that's all. See, everything else on here is just a number. So the only things that are going to show up at the top when I turn it on are going to be the ones where I've written what I want it to say at the top. Okay, so now that you see that that's what it's like, then you can preview it in Canva before you publish it, and this is what it looks like. Now you can't see the navigation bar because at the moment the navigation bar is turned off. Remember, this is a live website. So let's go to publish the website and then I'll show you where you turn it on and you turn it off. See here, right here it says include navigation menu. Uh, at the moment it's turned off. So if I went to this website, I will show you turned off and then I'm gonna show you it turned on. Okay, so this is live at the moment. You will see that there is no navigation bar at the top. So people can just scroll down the page. There is nothing clickable to go home, to go to the top, or to go to where I want them to go on the page. So it doesn't have a navigation bar. Okay, so now I'm going to turn it on, and then I'm gonna come down here in the publish settings. I want to turn that favicon, a favicon is where you can have a different image. I don't want it to look like it's Canva website, so I'm going to change that and add my favicon, which is just my initials, you can use whatever you want. And then I'm going to come down and I'm going to republish. If you're doing this for the first time, it will say publish website. But this is already live, so I'm just making changes and then I'm going to go publish website. If you want to see what's in advanced settings, you have the link preview. Remember how I said to you, if you want to have a image show up when you share the link, which you do, you definitely want to turn that on. And that's why having a image at the top or somewhere on the page is really, really important. It looks like it has chosen this image on its own. I'm not sure if you can upload and change that image. I'll have to go and have a play because this is all just new. Okay, and then I'm going to republish the website. And then I'll show you what it's like now with the navigation bar 
on the top. So you just have to think about what's this website for. And don't forget that all of these templates are available. I'll have the links in the description below. Whether you grab Amber's templates, which are some of the ones that I use, or whether you grab my templates, you can go and choose, or you can design your own. It's totally up to you. So let's go and view the website again, now that we've republished it, and bingo. See at the top now, this wasn't there before. Now when I click on journals, it's going to take me to the journal section. When I go back to home, it's going to take me back to the top. Free training, it takes you there. So there are the two simple ways. If you want to have total control and external links, then you can put the navigation bar wherever you want, then do it this way. You can just create a section and you can just choose what you want it to say and you can either link within the document or you can do an external link like I showed you in the beginning. If you just want to have it at the top like I just showed you, then all you need to do is choose the different sections that you want to have a name, add a name to it, and then when you publish the website, make sure to turn navigation on and then you will have your navigation bar at the top. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. And don't forget, I'll have the links to where you can go and grab these amazing rebrandable and reusable Canva website templates in the description below. Have an amazing day. Bye. And if you love this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out the other videos on the channel. Have an amazing day.